One of the art world's greatest innovators was Vincent van Gogh. His work is being displayed in an immersive exhibition. Calligrapher Rizwan al Haq has had the unique honor of having his artwork featured alongside the master himself. This is really going back to the pandemic and lockdown. So everything was very, very dark and uh, we just wanted to light things up. We uh, sort of created some calligraphies in neon. They were looking at very traditional Arabic calligraphy, but trying to do the calligraphies in a contemporary way. And Asma al Husna means the beautiful names. Names such as Al Wadud, which is the loving, and As Salam, which is the peace. I mean, Van Gogh, um, incredible artist, um, incredible history. His way of looking at the world, that sort of impressionist way, is very interesting for me. Um, it was it was just a quite an absolute honour to have uh, my own work here. Uh, with such a great master and also a, a great team. When you think of the Van Gogh immersive experience, you think of London, you know, you think of Paris, you know, you think of some of the, you know, bigger cities maybe. To actually have it in Bradford, I think, I think they've done a wonderful job. Art that is from different areas of the world, you know, are important and always prestigious to be placed here. And also art that, for example, is created in Bradford. You know, you, you've got art created right here in Bradford and showing with Van Gogh. And I think art is universal. I, I don't think that sort of, you know, if, if you think of uh, Impressionism or if you think of calligraphy, I, I think it belongs to the world. I think it belongs to all human beings. If anyone's trying to pursue something, it's first of all trying to find out who you are as a human being. We're standing here in a Van Gogh exhibition and as we know, he wasn't very successful in his life. But now, you know, he's one of the most talked about artists. So I would say really devote yourself to what you like. If you like something, then really follow it and pursue it with vigor. Have the humbleness to understand that you might not know everything, but have the absolute confidence in yourself to say that, yes, there is something important I've got to say.